perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is alongside me. The match has so much potential, and kickoff is just moments away. Tigress against FC Dallas. Well, there's certainly a buzz in this stadium in the uh, minutes leading up to kickoff. I hope the match doesn't disappoint. I don't think it will. We've got a couple of attacking sides here. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Yeah, he's got great talent, but can also mix it on a physical level because uh, he's not weak by any means. for Tigres today. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. This is how the visitors will line up today. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. Aquino. Is Andre Pierre Gignac Aquino? It's about decision here. Which player is he going to pass it to? Room in which to attack. A chance to break away now on the counter. Still progressing on the looking for goal now. Easy job for the goalkeeper Guzman Salcedo. Jorge Torres Nilo Aquino Pizarro Duenas and the goalkeeper it's his ball It's good attacking play, this, from them. And they blocked it then. It's gone out for a throw. Pizarro. Pizarro. Moving it nicely and productively here. Is Andre Pierre Gignac just moving the opposition around, maybe trying to wear them out by getting them to chase? Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Looked so promising at the beginning, but came to naught. Now there is some space in the wide area. Can whip it in now. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. And oh, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Reto Ziegler. It's going to be a throw after that challenge. Ziegler. Mosquera. Acosta. He could have stopped it, but wisely has let them play on. 
free kick given. Oh, decisive from the referee. No doubt in his mind that that was a yellow card. I don't know. You know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. Well, let's have another look at that tackle again, Alan. He's caught the man and not the ball. No doubt a foul. He's normally good from these set plays and uh, his teammates are expecting a good ball in. And that will be a goal kick. Well, I think the crowd have got a bit fed up with this match, embarking on a Mexican wave. Valencia. Quinones. Game still level, but the pressure might be counting. Duenas. Players up in support if he needs them. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Not a good pass at all. That's fair play, he's got his body in there and he can protect the ball. Here's uh, Pizarro, Gignac, Pizarro, taking on the defenders. Quinones takes the shot on, goalkeeper can only parry it out. Defenders done well here to clear the danger. Pizarro, Quinones. These fans can sense their team is grabbing the ball by the horns here. Taking charge, got to make it count though. That's out of danger there with that clearance. And they're trying to dispossess him. Tried to win it, but it'll be a throw. the shot go and they've scored that's the first goal of the game well he knew exactly where the goalkeeper was going and he just steered it past him into the bottom corner yeah he's a fine finisher this boy and uh, never panics passes it into that corner And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Aquino. Gignac. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Here's André-Pierre Gignac. Good width in the attack here. Looking for a cross at the end of it. Referee's given a corner. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end for the right reasons, but we might not uh, mention him in uh, a positive way, the way he's played today. No, the heart's been willing, but uh, his teammates haven't been able to support him enough and give him good possession, as you can see there. And uh, they've got a bit of ground to make up here. And in it goes. Only partially away from danger. Well, the fans want him to go for goal. And it's in for the equaliser. Oh, I do think they needed that just before half-time, or else confidence would have been low. Let's have another peek at that goal
It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? I must admit, Martin, I didn't see that equaliser coming, but he managed to get it. Really sharp take, and uh, it's breathed new life into his teammates. And here we go. The referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Trying to widen the approach play here but it's out for a throw-in. The hosts have controlled possession here so far, but for me, and I'm sure for the manager, they're not creating enough. They are going to go and win this match, which you'd expect. Just got to find another gear, ask a few more questions of the opposition here. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? You see what he was trying to do, but he's overhit the cross. It's a throw And there's the interception. Moving it nicely and productively here. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Well, they're going to start from the back because it's a back pass to the keeper. Quinones. Well, they're trying to put some pressure on him now, the attackers. Here's uh, Pizarro. Valencia. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Steered through. Oh, it's a great goal! Well, it's the understanding you've got to admire here, Martin. The ladder getting on to the end of it. The boy seeing the pass quickly. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. And we restart the game 2-1. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. It's about finding the right pass now. Acosta. Mosquera. I think the cross is on. Keeping the ball and looking for an opening. Cleared away, well away from goal. Costa, probing pass, awkward for the goalkeeper, but he was positive and just beat the attacker to the ball. Salcedo. Valencia. Looped over the defenders for the forward to chase. In towards the far post. That could be a game-winning moment to go two in front now. Well, it was a decent move and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Three one the score line as we restart the game.
Still 20 minutes to go. Good distance to the clearance then. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? It's a real opportunity to get it into the middle. It looked as... Well, it's a penalty. And the referees added to their problems. Yeah, lost the composure, haven't they? It's been a poor day and it's only going to get worse here. The penalty, I think it was clear-cut. And the fact that the referee's not booked anyone, is that a bit lenient? Maybe, but on the plus side, I think he's showing a bit of common sense. The penalty, I feel, is punishment enough. And saved! No doubt that's a corner. Well, not the best penalty, but a very good save. No, he's a master at that. He fills the goal, doesn't he? Oh, he's going to pay the penalty for this, but the goalkeeper's done well. Well, he's one of the most agile around, and he, he used it there, didn't he? Corner played into the middle. He saved it, and saved it well. Pressure really on yet another corner. In goes the corner. Head on the ball, head in hands now. Yeah, the keeper thought he was going to be a bit busier than that. And that was the chance to hit the target. That's what will disappoint him. He didn't even work the goalkeeper. No, he didn't, and his technique has let him down badly there. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today. We've seen some lovely football. Their key players really pulling the strings and put them into a dominant position from which I can't really see them messing it up. Acosta. He's left one. Good vision here. And it's a goal! It's no goal, the flag's up. But it's certainly a, a well-worked move, but uh, denied by the assistant. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. A bit lazy in possession. Well, it's safe to play it back to the goalkeeper. He's good with his feet. Salcedo. When it is a team that's coordinated together, making sure the opposition can't get a foot in. Duenas. And the ball pass to Lopez. They're really working the opposition around with this passing. They can't get near it. No, they can't. They're having to do a lot of chasing. They're just wearing them out. Under pressure, can he shoot? Well, they keep moving the ball here. Can go in from here. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Aquino. Striding forward, purposefully. Powerful drive, close enough to suggest. Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though.
and it's come to an end here with the final whistle. Well, I think for the uh, two sets of players, this has been a good exercise. The, the main team has lost, and that's not good for their morale, but in terms of their physical fitness, they've really sharpened up. Yeah, and I think that's something that the manager must stress in the dressing room afterwards. It wasn't about the result, but about what they got out of it fitness-wise and from a tactical point of view.